Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome back to Kids Church with Miss Donna and today my good friend Polly. Hello. Hello, Polly. How are you? I'm great. Miss Donna, are we going to have a party? Um, Polly, we are going to have a party today. Whose is it? His birthday. Well, you're right. It is a birthday. Um, you see that birthday bag right there. So I guess that gave you a clue, huh? Yes! Okay, so today we are celebrating the birthday of something very special. Something? Yes, something. Not a person? No, not a person. It's actually the birthday of the church. Huh? The church? Tell me more. Okay, Polly. So boys and girls, we are going to be talking about something really special today, the birth of the church of Jesus Christ. But before we do, we're gonna praise the Lord. So everybody get ready, stand to your feet, raise your hands in the air, clap your hands and sing, praise him. Boys and girls, don't you just love birthday parties? And we're having a birthday party today for the church. We have a gift here, and I am gonna unwrap this gift and just see what we have in here. Okay. Okay, what do we have here? We have Jesus and the disciples and angels. Okay, so
So in John chapter 14, verse 16, Father God gives us a promise through Jesus. And this is in red, guys. This is written in red. It is That means Jesus is speaking to us directly. It says, And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. Comforter is the Holy Spirit. When I say Holy Spirit all throughout the stories, I want you to say, <sighs> blow really hard and remember that the Holy Spirit is like a wind. You don't see him, but he is there. He never leaves us and he never forsakes us. And he is leads us and guides us in this world. Are you asking, how does the church have a birthday? It's not a person, but guess what? It does have a birthday and it's called Pentecost. And every year we celebrate Pentecost. That is the time where Christians celebrate when the Holy Spirit came to abide with us forever. It was the promise that um, God would send us another comforter. Have you ever been made a promise? And you know how awesome it is when somebody fulfills that promise? Well, God made us a promise that he would send the Holy Spirit. But first, Jesus had to go to heaven before that would happen. So, as Jesus walked with the disciples on the earth, he was still here for about 40 days, for 40 days. And on the 40th day, he ascended to heaven in a cloud. But before he did, he told the disciples, go and wait and Jerusalem for the promise to come. Do you remember what I told you the promise was? The promise that the Comforter would come to abide with them forever and it would give them the power to become witnesses for Jesus. Okay? We become witnesses for Jesus when we get the Holy Spirit power, the baptism. Okay? So Jesus went up to heaven on a cloud and guess what happened? The Holy Spirit came down to abide with us forever. He leads us into all truth and righteousness and he baptizes us in fire and the Holy Ghost. Well, this is how it happened and this is why it's called a birthday. So Jesus told them to all gather together. There were like 120 people in an upper room. They were in one room and they were all gathered together because God was about to send the promise and they were all gathered together and they heard a loud wind. It was the sound of a rushing wind. And all of a sudden, a fire, fire is on their head like of tongues of fire. And they all began to speak in other languages. It was a miracle. Now during this time, there were lots of people in Jerusalem because it was a, the time of the feast and everybody was there and there were people who heard all of the commotion that was going on. They, they heard the noise from heaven. They heard the people speaking in other tongues and they were like, are they drunk? What is wrong with them? So disciple Peter stood up and he said, oh no, they're not drunk as you suppose. This is what was spoken by the prophet Joel. And so the promise that God had made had actually happened. God had, and that was the beginning and the birthday of the church. So what does that mean for me and you today? I mean, how, how does that even um, affect me and you today? Well, we are also followers of Jesus Christ. His word never changes. It's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And today, we too are filled with with the Holy Spirit to become God's witnesses to the world because God wants his church to grow. The church started with those people in that one upper room, but as he filled them with the Holy Spirit, remember I said, Holy Spirit, what are you supposed to do? God filled them with the Holy Spirit and 
they became witnesses for him all over the world, right there in their town and other towns and all over the world. And they went out telling people about God's kingdom. And once they became believers, then they got filled with the Holy Spirit too. And that has grown for all of these years. The church has grown to like 2.5 billion or something like that, a lots of people. And so God wants his church the church is alive today because Jesus lives in us. The Holy Spirit is still here and living in us. And he wants us to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Can you say, God wants me to believe and have the Holy Spirit? I said, Holy Spirit. That's right. God wants us to be filled with the Holy Spirit. I have a flashlight here and I'm just going to turn it on. What's wrong with this flashlight? It's not coming on. Hmm. Let's check and see if there are any batteries in here. Oh, goodness. The batteries are not in there. So, all right, let's put the batteries in there and see if that makes a difference. See if my flashlight will work then. A flashlight is no good without uh, the batteries. See, it works now. We are lit up. All right. So just like the flashlight needing batteries to be filled on the inside of it to make it shine, we also need the Holy Spirit to fill us on the inside of us to make us shine for Jesus. Guys, I'm back here with Polly. Look, something has happened to him. Hi, Polly. What is that on your head? Uh, something happened to Polly. Polly has been listening to our lesson. He's been sitting back there in kids' church, and he has got a fire on his head. It looks kind of like the one I, we heard about in the Bible today. Uh, 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 Miss Donna, it's so awesome. I just want to go out and tell everybody about God's kingdom to repent and be saved and be filled with God's love and the Holy Spirit. Boys and girls, that's what happens to us. We get filled with boldness when we get the Holy Spirit. So today, let's just pray right now that we will believe and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Father, thank you for sending your Holy Spirit to us that we can become your witnesses and be bold and tell others about you and that we have a comforter in you. We love you in Jesus' name. Boys and girls, it has been a wonderful day in Kids Church. And you want to tell them something? God is good. Yes, Polly, God is so good. The Holy Spirit fills us and it makes us feel so wonderful. There's no reason why anybody should not want it. You know, God is real. I know that when you don't see it, sometimes it's hard to believe, but you just have to believe and then you will receive. That's as easy as that. Have a blessed week.